Hello, Dominic from BMT Spain, website for beginners to advanced players. And in this video, I'm going to explain the difference between flexion and pronation in the flat surf. So let me first start by showing you the difference in the racket and wrist position between those two. This one is using my wrist using flexion yeah, to surf. So as you can see, the racket is more horizontal and my wrist is a little bit bended. It's not fully bended, it's not full flexion. Yeah, I will come back on that later. And the pronation, you will see now the racket is more vertical. My wrist is in the same position. It's not bended or in a flexed position. That is the biggest difference. Yeah, Horizontal racket, bended wrist or in a flexed position and vertical yeah and the wrist in that same position now if you want a high level surf i do recommend you yeah, to learn that fully pronated surf which has internal shoulder rotation because pronation has its limits once you are here yeah now if you want to turn more you need that internal shoulder rotation which feels awkward for a lot of people and they start to surf with flexion or using their wrist now if you're just a recreational player or a local club player yeah, and you want to have some fun with friends, yeah, I say you can easily surf with your wrist using yeah, your hand, yeah, making that flexion against the ball like you do flexion in the forehand, flexion in the backhand, flexion in the volley. You can surf yeah, also with flexion. Now, there is a difference between snapping and flicking. Yeah? But snapping and flicking is actually nothing more than making that full flexed motion. This is flicking my wrist. Now, we see a lot of players doing that. The problem is that they stop their swing. Yeah? They don't have a full fluent surf motion. They surf like this. Yeah? And this indeed yeah, can hurt your wrist, yeah? can cause injuries. But for those people, I do recommend start little by little making a fluent and complete serving motion like this so this is already a nice serve but if you do this it will be hard to get that flick or snapping yeah in your serving motion so make a fluent and complete serving motion and you will get rid of that trouble now if i talk about yeah the surf using your wrist, yeah, I also compare with the volleyball surf. If you watch volleyball players, they surf, yeah, they're also serving, and they do this against the ball, like this. Yeah. Then you will see that their wrist is not snapping or flicking, yeah, it is bended, they use flexion like this, yeah, but as you can see, it's not fully flexed, it's not snapping, yeah, or flicking their wrist. And we are going to do exactly the same yeah, in our surf. So we are going to think about a volleyball surf. Yeah, doing exactly the same against the ball with our racket. So we are going to do as a volleyball and we are going to do this. Yeah? But as you can see, I'm not fully flexed. I'm using flexion against the ball yeah, but I'm not fully flexed. So this is using my wrist, yeah, with a normal yeah, hammer or continental grip. You can have flexion in your serve, yeah, nice serve, and try to finish on the left side. Now, the pronation I showed you, yeah, you should really practice turning the hand to the outside. So in the beginning, you learn to throw the ball, yeah, having that hand in that position. If you have flexion, you can also draw, but then your hand is more in that position. So that's the biggest difference. If you want to have a heavy serve, learn to throw, but focus on the fact that you turn the palm to the outside. And then little by little, yeah, you start to do the same with your racket. Turn the palm to the outside. Here you turn the palm. As you can see, this feels more awkward, yeah? Then if I would just use yeah, flexion against the ball, I'm more here, yeah, I don't have that strange feeling by the internal shoulder rotation. 
That's one of the main reasons why a lot of people serve like this. But it's no problem to serve like this unless you're snapping or flicking. That can cause injuries. So for those people again, fluent and complete motion. Now, the third thing is that I see a lot of players serving with the foreign grip. Now, if you have the eastern foreign grip, index finger, knuckle and heel pad on three, yeah, no problem. If you have the semi-western problem, if you have the full western problem. So semi-western and full western, I do not recommend for the third. But if you have that eastern foreign grip, no problem at all. Some coaches will call it the waiter serve. Well, there is no problem with the waiter serve as long as you whip your serve. Now, if I make a whipping motion, you can see, yeah, I am not flicking, yeah, I am not uh, have that fully flexed wrist, yeah, I whip, but this is the maximum, so this is perfect. The most important part in the surf is that you are going up. Now, if you have that way to surf, you are going up by using that flexion or using your wrist. Now, by going up, you will put some amount of spin in the ball, which will get your control. And by going up, using your wrist, you can have racket head acceleration. So you will also have a decent speed, yeah, even with that waiter surf. Now, the most important part with that waiter surf, eh, or with that whip surf, eh, whip your surf, yeah, is that you have to stay completely on the right side. Yeah, you're not trying to get to copy the professionals having all this. There is no trophy position. There is no racket drop yeah, in the whip surf, let's say. Yeah? So the whip surf, you have that eastern foreign grip, you stay here on the right side and you just, whew, already nice one, you just whip your surf. Yeah? You keep the ball here and you just whip your surf. Another nice surf, one more. Then we have some videos from the back to see the difference in the three serves. But stay and make that here, that whipping motion, this one was out, but let's check some balls out from the back. So I'm going first, yeah, use the normal grip, the hammer continental grip, using my wrist, using flexion, and I will stop to show you the position of my racket. Now, as you can see, yeah, it's not fully flexed, it's not snapping or flicking. Now I will do the same, yeah, with a full motion. So, as you can see, these are decent serves without even looking for full power. Now, with pronation. So, as you can see, the racket is more vertical, the wrist is in the same, but you create more power. And then, the third one was with that foreign grip. Yeah? So now, eastern foreign grip, heel pad and index finger on three making that whipping motion on the right side. So, let's go. So, as you can see, even with that whipping action, you can have a good surf. So, these were the two differences I wanted to show you. Yeah, Using a normal grip, but using your wrist flexion, having that eastern foreign grip, yeah, way to surf, but again, using that flexion, yeah, and then the normal grip again, having pronation. This is if you want to have a very high level serve. So, thank you for watching. See you in another video.